Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy 14 online let's play and we are back with Vesper. Today, let's talk to Nadana and see what she wants us to do for her. Needs to simmer just a bit longer, I'd say. In the meantime, I was hoping I might ask you a few questions. The red sky, these terrible beasts, what in the name of the sisters is happening here in Thavnir? Final days. Oh my, that's rather a lot to take in. It would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use your knowledge to see if it can further our own research. And with that, here we are. A pot of piping hot chai, brewed from my own secret recipe of spices and tea leaves, together with hearty helpings of rich milk and purest sugar. I've made enough, of ev enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? drink has medicinal properties then not in the least the ingredients are quite ordinary it's so very tasty though and has a way of lifting the spirits spicy aroma and distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple everyday pleasure on our island perhaps the best medicine is the simplest lovely sentiment nadana by all means allow us to assist While you lot distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep of errant beasts to slay. A far less arduous task, no doubt. When you finish, look for me at the wakeful Torana. Okay. Look at them all lazing about, knowing full well the beasts might strike again at any moment. Do they not realize their lives are in danger? Well, I, for one, intend to survive. I'm too young to die. Yes, I'll leave this island behind if I must, but... But where would I go? Is anywhere safe these days? A cup of chai. Can't you see I have more important things to worry about? No, no, you're right. It is precisely in times like these that we must strive to remain calm and steady. I do believe I'll visit the elder and see what needs to be done. If there is any way I can aid my village and my friends, I will do it. Okay, there's one. No one up here. We'll keep. No one up here. Ah, oh, there's someone over here. Hmm, wait. I know you. You were the one that saved us from those beasts back at the temple. Were it not for you, well, let's not think about that. At times like this, we mustn't dwell on what might have been, but look to our future. But what future awaits us? How can Red's at hand hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone. I don't know. I, I don't know where to turn. Cup of chai. Well, if you insist. Ah, that aroma has a way of clearing the mind. Come to think of it, we've faced our fair share of trials in the past as well. No matter how hard the times, we've always come together as a people united. One day at a time, one step at a time, for that is all any of us can do. Yes, back to work, once I finish this cup. Thank you. Where's the other one? Gotta be in here, huh? Nope. Huh. Get a bird's eye view. There's some people over there. I wonder if... Ah, okay, up here. I'm sorry, I, I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I, we fled the village together. One of the beasts took him and... and it was all I could do to run. All the while, I could hear this monstrous voice screaming my name. Hmm? This is for me? Ah, we used to drink chai together often, shared stories over steaming cups after a hard day's work. Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, but I must press on all the same. For his memory and for we who must remember.
There we go. Nadana. Thank you for delivering the chai, Vesper. Did it help to lift the villagers' spirits? That is heartening to hear indeed. The final days show no signs of abating, but that is all the more reason that we must try to keep our composure. Our lives have been forever changed. The people we have lost will never return to us. These tragedies will long weigh on our hearts. But we have the capacity to live with our suffering, to carry the agony till we too fall, join the fallen in death. It is not a surrender, but a recognition. For it is only in acceptance that we find the strength to move forward. Matya? As you have finished your deliveries, might I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know, what has become of Maven and Karasef's remains? Ah, thank you, friend. Surely they will be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. I and the people of Palakistan will perform the rites as soon as we are able. As for the child, it will not be easy for her growing up without her parents, but I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to, able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help nourish her. to open a soda. <laughs> well, we finished delivering the chai. I do believe everyone is, has a piping hot cup. I could almost believe there's a magic at work, how the tension fades with every sip. Let us pray that Palaka Stand has seen the last of those transformations, at least for now. They are still at risk, as every village of Thavner like is not. Still, I trust we can leave this place in the care of friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return at, to Rods at Han? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who have need of your wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies from my Akiali. We have plenty to spare. Then let us find Astinian and be on our way. Where did he wander off to again? The wakeful Tirana, near the bridge to Redzahan, as I recall. Very well then. Okay, but before we do that, we're going to have to do some, um, Aether Current hunting. Yep, there should be, what's an apparent radiant patrol? Okay, if this gives us an Aether Current, I will accept it. I know where we are beset by monsters, beasts, and worse, but if you have even an ounce of strength to give, I would ask for your aid. I'm in need of a brave soul to help patrol the area in search of any lost refugees. I would ask my brothers and sisters of the Radiant Host, but our numbers have been greatly diminished. It is all we can do to keep the darkness from swallowing the settlement whole. Very good. I shall be heartening. It shall be heartening to have another warrior by my side. Let us commence at once. Okay. And then, like, there's Inagama's footsteps. Up and over this. Weary Radiant. Aether Current? Good. Ah, what luck. You look capable of braving the jungles unscathed. Would you help me search for a group of refugees I became separated from? As the chaos unfolded around us, I fled in the direction of Agama Temple, along with a few others. There, one of those terrible beasts fell upon us, and I lost track of my group in the chaos. While I was able to make my way here, none of the others have, and I worry for their safety. I would like nothing more than to search myself, but all hands are required to defend this place. Agama Temple is to the west. Please journey there and guide anyone you can find back here. Uh, I only hope that some manage to survive the madness. Alright, I think those are our last two Aether Currents that we need. Yeah. And then we need to find five more... Uh, as we're going, so... We should begin our patrol by heading south, a route through which many refugees from Yeldamud pass. 
We will cover more ground if we split into two groups. If you should find anyone in need, go to their aid, and if you discover any discarded effects, collect them for safekeeping. Ah, and if you should encounter one of those terrible beasts, slay it where it stands. Once we've made a thorough search of the area, let us rendezvous back here. Godspeed. Okay. Southwest. something here. We surveyed the area but detect nothing out of the ordinary. Wounded citizen. We gotta bring wing sauce back out. Is it gone? Thank the gods, I would have surely died without your help. What are you doing out here? I see, so the radiant host looks out over us yet. For that I'm grateful. <clears throat> well, I suppose if I follow the path you took to get here, I should be safe on my way back. You didn't leave anything alive, did you? And one more... Over here. Anusia statuette. who and an aether current. You see a strange statuette lying on the ground depicting a woman wearing a beastly mask. It may be best to collect it. Perfect. Is there another one? 62 to the south? That's up there. Okay. Where is that? That's over here. Let's get back and turn this in. there. 
Welcome back. I've heard all about your noble deed. Allow me to thank you for protecting those we cannot. I'll add my thanks to hers. If not for you, I'd be nothing but food for the beasts. You've more than earned a reward for your time. Speak to me again at Palaka Stand and I'll ensure you get it. Yeah, well, that one we can't get. Alright, Radiant Host Captain. The work ahead of us is vast, and any lives we can save are precious indeed. All I came across in my patrol was discarded belongings and scattered luggage. Did you find anything else of note? On this statue. Hmm, I recognize this figure. Doubtless you are curious as to what it depicts. There's a legend that tells of a Manusia goddess who sought the strength of the Murga, wrestling her own head from her body and replacing it with the bestial pate of the Murga. In pursuit of wisdom, did a Murga do the same, replacing his own head with that of a Manusia? Thus were born divine beings gifted with both strength and wisdom, heralding an age of untold peace. One of the refugees must have dropped this in their flight. This figure is a reminder that the most insurmountable hardships can be overcome by looking beyond the bounds of tribe for help. A figure so fine was likely beloved by its owner. I shall do what I can see to I, I shall do what I can to see it return to them. Thank you for your help today, traveler. Okay, we got that one. Now other one. Another one. Out this way. Still giving me that one to the south. Northwest. Who, who are you? Are you here to save me? Of course, I knew she wouldn't forget about us. The beast prowled the area for some time, but I managed to find refuge amongst these rocks. However, I've been too frightened to set foot from the shelter for fear of drawing the attention of some hungry animal. Well, with you here, I believe I can find the courage. Will you accompany, back to accompany me to Laka's stand? Thank you. Now let us tread carefully. Alright, let's go. Hey. Something doesn't want us here. Let's go. Oh, you dumb thing. I didn't even see you there. following me?
All right, let's keep going. We're almost there. Oh, I didn't see this thing either. <laughs> what the heck? Bumbira skin. Okay, we're almost there. We did it. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. You saved my life. Please tell that brave woman from the Radiant Host that I've arrived safe and sound. I must think of a way to repay your bravery. Okay. He's there. Now we can tell the other person. Oh, she's up on top there. I'm gonna repair my gear real quick. I watched your arrival. I recognize that man from the group I was with, and I am overjoyed to see him safe. Thank you for escorting him here. Truly, you are worthy of the reputation you've earned. I dare say even Agama would be awed by your bravery. He was a storied me mendicant of the Arca Sadara. When the Hires landed ashore this island and war broke out, he spared no effort to save the lives of all who were injured in the conflict. He saw no tribes, only those in need. He is not so different from you, who throws herself into the maw of danger to save someone they've never met. If a Gama spirit lives on today, it is through your selfless deeds. Take this as a reward, although I have no doubt you would deny it if I let you. Once my watch has ended, I shall patrol the woods in search of any more hiding amongst the trees. Okay. Now. We've got all the story ones. We need four more of these. So first things first, I know there is one down here somewhere. So let's go here. This. Northeast. 100 something to the northeast. I see it. Okay. Northwest. Three hundred seventy eight to the northwest. Eighty-four to the north. Down there. Northwest. Here's 
straight to the north this way. It's got to be down there then. Got to be like... Around here somewhere. Five oh six to the west. Well, we'll do that that one later. There's one down here. Southwest. Okay. Three seventy eight to the southwest. Aha, back here, okay. And then what we'll do... The north. 501 to the north. Okay, we'll go over here. Five oh eight to the northeast. more do we need? Two more. Ah, ha. Ah, there's this one. Northwest. I can that mountain. <laughs> Southwest. Ah, it's in here. We should be able to fly now. There we go. Thavnir, free bird. Alright, now we can go talk to Astinian.
Where is he? Up here. There he is. Guess what, guys? I can fly here now. Alfino told me everything. Full glad am I to hear the people are safe. Likewise, you would be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins. Twould seem you finished off the last of them. Trying times yet lie ahead for the people of Thavnir. Fortunately, they have a wise and benevolent satrap to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Thancred not a short while ago. He awaits our return to the city of Eldazel's path. Thumb. We can fly. Oh, um, I don't have a preference. <laughs> Speak with Thancred. It is good to see you safe. Given the skies, tis all too easy to fear the worst. I am pleased to report that we've succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all been felled, and the citizens are safe for now. I've also heard from the Radiant that an important proclamation will be made in the city square, though they said no more than that. Might you have any idea what this is about? So Vritra is finally coming out of from behind the curtain. I suppose we, too, should hear what he has to say. To make a do to then. But before that, it would appear the word of the assembly has not yet reached all the citizens. If anyone along the way seems unaware, we'd best enlighten them. Thanks, Sankred. Search for townspeople who missed the announcement. This guy has been standing here for... Like two days now. <laughs> Just like that. He was there yesterday too. Uh, are the beasts all gone? I've been hiding and I'm too scared to go out and look. Oh, that's a relief. I thought one of those beasts was going to eat me. I wonder where Varshan is. He's the slowest runner. I hope he got away. Hmm, he could be with the other people from the palace. Maybe I'll see him in the square. Why are we finding all these kids? Leave me be, please. I swear to you, my flesh tastes absolutely terrible. Oh, by the- Oh, gods, what are you doing scaring me like that? If we're not quiet, those beasts will find us. The square, you say? That's where the satrap was killed. With my very eyes, I saw him crushed in that creature's maw. So many lives lost. Such terrible carnage. You say there is someone else who would lead Rajat Han in his stead? Whoever they are, if they say anything to sully the memory of our beloved satrap, I'll make them regret it. The player is... That one. Raha, you stole a. Look, someone's coming. People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, 
I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. <laughs> Many thanks. A dragon! <laughs> People of Radzathan, I am Vritra, and for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. Tis as the Satrap's ally I am known. Today, I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. They will. If I am hearing this right, you were the satrap all along? Vashan! I mean, Master Vitra, that, that, does your divine eye really see all? <laughs> Nay, child. While mine eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future I am blind as thee. Countrymen, calamity the likes of which we have never known is come to Fafnir. Our home. Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I too have lost my closest confidants. Ahawan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust, this I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Rats at harm to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, Slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. This calamity hath stolen too much from you already, yet so long as you live, the light of Radzat Han will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it, over you, and lend me your strength, that we might face this trial and those to come as one. I do not know you, Dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together. So too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. A sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. Oh, why would you say that? 
indeed. Oof, that got me. Oh, what is this guy doing here now? Ruin our, <laughs> ruining our hole. Excuse me, but I must speak with the Sartrap at once. Funny, you should, um... Uh... Father! <laughs> you have suffered dearly of late, yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you... The people of Radzat Han might be saved. I say again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. I am satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. Is a little thrown off that it's a dragon. If huh? I have given offense, then I apologize. First, allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. It is an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavnir, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. Escape this star? What madness is this? Nah. Tis by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the Red Moon, Dalamud, was revealed. That it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. But what of the Silver Moon? This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. A ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction. And by our people, I speak not only of Charlian. We mean to save every man, woman, and child it is within our power to save. Including you, our dear friends of Radzat Han. Recent events necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. If this guy came in Long here talking like this, I'd be like, you're mad. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star? Our father deemed the last bastion of hope. It is for that very reason I come before you and your people. To answer any and all of your questions. To offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision swiftly. Show our friends to Megaduta. They are to be received as honored guests. Worry not. Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm, and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. We'll do as you say, Master Vitra. We believe in you. Ah.
Hey, Nadana. Oh, you're still here. What a relief. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika Stand? Oh, no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Akasha, yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Yes, yes. In this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Hmm. Ah, do you still have that flower? Yes. Always. Oh, my flower! If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. You must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. My flower exploded, though. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors, and pray you take care. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet, and we will meet again. Hi, Nadana. All right. Well, I think with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up here. When we come back, we'll talk to Alfino, and we'll see what our next steps are. Um... I'm sad about my flower. <laughs> I didn't know that it uh, it dissipated like that. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.